television personality Will Hayden, who starred in the Discovery Channel reality show, Sons of Guns will spend the rest of his life behind bars for raping two preteen girls over the course of two decades in East Baton Rouge Parish, The Advocate reported on Thursday. Hayden was found guilty in April on two counts of aggravated rape and one count of forcible rape. The latter charge carries a mandatory term of life in prison. He was sentenced on Thursday to two life sentences, plus 40 years. He is not eligible for probation, parole or suspension of sentence. His victims, now 15 and 37 years old said they were raped by Hayden in emotional testimonies during the trial. The oldest victim said the incident occurred in the 1990s when she was between 12 and 13 years old. The other victim said she was 12 when she was raped in 2014. Former Sons of Guns star Will Hayden will spend the rest of his life behind bars, the advocate of Bath Narrow reports. On Thursday, the reality television alum, 51, was sentenced in a Louisiana courtroom to two life sentences in prison plus 40 more years for raping two preteen girls after he was convicted in April. WFLA reports that Hayden will not be eligible for suspension of sentence, probation or parole. Hayden was found guilty on April 7 for the rape of two young girls decades apart, one in the 1990s when the victim was 12 or 13, and one in 2014 when the victim was 12, according to WAFP. The victims are now 15 and 37 years old, the advocate reports. Following Hayden's guilty verdict in April, District Attorney Hiller Moore III discussed one of the victim's testimony at trial, saying, this was a young child that was raped at a very young age and she chose to testify in front of the jury, in front of her abuser, and she actually threw up five times while testifying, Moore said. It was not immediately clear if Hayden planned to appeal his conviction and sentence. Sons of Guns ran from 2011 to 2014, getting cancelled following Hayden's arrest. The Discovery Channel series chronicled the Hayden's family-owned Louisiana custom firearms business. Episodes often showed Hayden and his adult daughter, Stephanie, helping customers find weapons, including rifles. Other scenes showed the process of making the guns. Images from firing ranges and ammunition tips. Convicted rapist and ex Sons of Guns reality TV personality Will Hayden was sentenced Thursday to life in prison, plus 40 years, for sexually assaulting two preteen girls in East Baton Rouge Parish, one in the early 1990s and the other several years ago. Hayden, 51, of Greenwell Springs, did not speak at his sentencing that lasted just a few minutes. Nor did his now 37-year-old victim who attended the swift court proceeding. The younger victim, who is now 15, was not in the courtroom. When the 37-year-old woman emerged from State District Judge Mike Irwin's 19th Judicial District courtroom, she smiled and said, Thank God. She chose not to speak to a reporter. Hayden was found guilty April 7 on two counts of aggravated rape and one count of forcible rape. Aggravated rape carries a mandatory term of life behind bars. Irwin, who presided over Hayden's trial, sentenced him to concurrent life terms on the aggravated rape convictions and a consecutive 40-year prison term on the forcible rape conviction. The judge ordered the sentences be served without benefit of probation, parole or suspension of sentence. Hayden still faces rape and other sex crimes charges in Livingston Parish and is set for trial July 10, but 21st Judicial District Attorney Scott Perilou said Thursday his office has consulted with the alleged victims in the Livingston case and plans to dismiss those charges before or on that trial date. Perilou said the charges would be dismissed without prejudice, meaning they could be refiled if for some reason Hayden's Baton Rouge convictions were overturned. Our concerns are for the community and the victims, he said. Hayden's Baton Rouge victims testified at his trial that he raped them over two-year periods. The younger victim said he repeatedly raped her in 2013 and 2014 when she was 11 and 12, including at his Greenwell Springs home and in his truck. The older woman, who has three children of her own and is engaged, 
said Hayden raped her twice in the early 1990s when she was 12 and 13. She said the first rape occurred at Hayden's apartment in Cedar Crest after they smoked marijuana. He was in his mid-twenties at the time. Hayden testified in his own defense and denied the rape allegations, but an East Baton Rouge Parish jury unanimously found him guilty after one hour of deliberation. His court-appointed trial attorney, Beau Rouge, filed a motion last week asking Irwin to appoint the Louisiana Appellate Project to handle Hayden's appeal. In Livingston, Hayden is accused on another aggravated rape count of the same 15-year-old girl who testified against him in the Baton Rouge case. He also is charged with aggravated incest of his oldest daughter and former Sons of Guns co-star Stephanie Hayden who appeared on the Dr. Phil show in 2014 and said her father entered her bedroom one night about 20 years ago while drunk and pinched and kissed her while trying to take her clothes off. She told the talk show host she managed to escape her father and he did not touch her inappropriately again. Sons of Guns aired on the Discovery Channel from 2011 until 2014 and featured Red Jacket Firearms a custom gun shop in Baton Rouge. The show was cancelled following Hayden's first arrest in the summer of 2014.